Mark John and Callahan Walsh, their show in pursuit of John Walsh. They track down fugitives, help find lost kids, now back for its second season. Great to have both of you back. And John, what a legacy. Over the last 30 years, 1,400 fugitives brought to justice. Thank you. Now, there is something and, and you're keeping it going in this in this show. Well, this is our second season. Tried to retire, but America has <laughs> become this terrible, violent place. We had our worst uh, year of violent crime last year. 144 cops killed in the line of duty, 300 mass murders, um, 29 school shootings. So, it came out of retirement in pursuit. Had its first season. We profiled. And we did 12 shows and caught 10 guys and recovered a missing child alive. So, continues. And, 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 and Paula, how, how good for you? You work at the National Center for Missing and Exploited Kids, but also get the chance now to work with your dad. Yeah, no, I'm honored. You know, my, my father is my role model, and I'm honored to be able to say that. But I watched my parents channel their emotions, their anger, their energy over my brother's death uh, in 1981. Uh, to try to make sure that didn't happen again. And I think that hole in their hearts and all of our hearts were filled little by little by the recoveries of the, these missing children, but also getting justice for families that so deserve it. It took 27 years to get justice in our case. And by giving this to these families, it really fills that hole. Those families, those victims, the search for justice at the heart of this story. I want to take a look at a, a clip from episode one. Tragic story. Young mother of three, Annette Lamumba, is found dead. And this is the moment when her heartbroken brother arrives at the scene. First thing he said is, is my sister in there? I knew we were going to have a very unfortunate situation. He immediately ran towards the front door of the residence. My biggest concern was I didn't want him to see his sister like that. But there was no stopping Mr. Lumumba. He was super distraught. And it took police officers to keep him from getting into that house. Boy, that's about as raw as it gets. It, it, it's a terrible case. You know, I always pick my most wanted. He's the first one on our on our season premiere tomorrow night. Cal does the second case. But this guy, wonderful woman, had three kids together. He started to abuse her. She was smart enough to move out, and he killed her. The cops allege that he killed her. And he also is wanted for molesting and raping two 13-year-old girls, George. He's a real dirtbag. So he's going to be the number one case on our, our season premiere tomorrow night on Investigation Discovery. The season also has a story very personal to you, the case of a childhood friend of yours. That's killed. right. That's right. This season is, uh, is personal to me. Uh, Lindsay was a very close friend of mine. Uh, she disappeared out of Las Vegas. Her remains were found partial remains found 16 days after she disappeared, but it took three years for that DNA to match those remains to Lindsay. Uh, I know her parents well. I want to get justice for her. I want to get justice for her family. We need to know what happened. There's so many questions that have been left unanswered. That's why we're doing this case. It's so important to me, and we need those answers. We need the viewers to give us that information. Important work right there. Thank you both for coming in. Season two of In Pursuit with John Walsh premieres tomorrow on Investigation Discovery. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.